I don't think there is a button check. We had no notes from them. So Soar, look at that animation. Woo! Yeah, it's so sick. Top eight beginning now. Soar versus Saloom, game one on. Small battlefield. Small thank you so much. Yeah, you know. Hey, it's, it's, it's fine. A it's a new stage. It's, it's a new stage. It's been a day, okay? It's been something. Hey, so. that's fine. Yeah, for sure. I love that. Already smacking each other back in and out. Now, Saloon, what I love about his gameplay is the mobility and just the control he has on how to know when to weave in, when to weave out. And that's the perfect burst range you want to play against someone like Steve. Yeah, definitely. And, like, you have to really be careful around Steve because we all know how dangerous this character is when he gets one up tilt. Oh, yeah, that's it. He really does only need one up tilt. That's that's the really truth. Especially Sora, like he doesn't mess it up. He really has a very consistent play as to really matching, okay, what is this going to send here? How is this going to respond here? And is really, really good at just biting back. And like you saw, but already the oh my god, the what an Advil. And I love that. Purposely getting hit on oh, by damn. the Flare Blitz so that you can't yeah. take it back. But unfortunately, he couldn't came back because he didn't have any more double jumps left. But That's it. So really good lead for Sword right now. So we're going to see a one grab is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, it, here oh, it comes. Honey. Here it comes. Oh, honey. Yeah, that's, that's 65. That's 65%. Uh, the parry two sword sword oh, sword. He's locked in. So he's locked in. This man has been playing Pokemon all day in the freaking corner, okay? And this is the result. Of course he did. He says you too can play Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, right now, they didn't get touched right now. That's a whole zero to death going on right now. Yeah. As I said. Yeah, but big boy, definitely la like living. I love the up special. I'm just, oh my gosh. And even though the wing is going to go in a hit, you're still going to get a little bit of that bruising. As to turn in purple and blue, I mean that Charizard not looking so good. Yeah, but let's let's be let's be careful because Charizard's just not charming is really scary. Four tilt into frame. Right. You have down air. Up is not gonna do it. Damn. Yeah, we, we tend to forget that Steve's quite the heavy boy, right? Yeah. Up is gonna do it though. Frame six, it's so fast. Yes. So fast is so strong. Yeah. Alright, here we go again. That should be it. Okay, oh, oh barely man. missed. I, I feel like he wanted the footstool too, knowing yeah. he couldn't get that much, but still finds the up smash on the neutral getup. Yeah, big lead for Sword right now. So let's see if Salim is going to adapt because that's a really big mountain to climb, especially against Steve. But less trapping is going well for Salim right now. Yeah. And it doesn't help that it's like Sword's so aware of what Pokemon Trader needs to make this matchup work. Especially like Ivysaur, we were talking about before with, with Card on the mic, but he was talking about how. It's so it's so um, hard that uh, with Ivysaur versus Steve specifically, yeah. and that is Saloon's best Pokemon by far. Like everybody knows Saloon for his Ivysaur. So when you're not as where you need to be with the Squirtle and the Charizard, they're gonna get pretty boppy. And now that's why we're seeing the Ivysaur too. Yeah, work. he's really good at keeping away and just being super safe. Trust me, I faced this Ivysaur and it's not fun to fight against. Right. <laughs> it, it, it definitely packs a headache and yeah. quite the punch with the, you know, someone's gotta check if that's really grass in there or something else is hidden. Yeah. Okay, so that's the setup. What you got? I like that. Yeah, on the follow. I like the chase. Just push into the corner. Try to get as much damage because there's not much damage. The 46 is looking pretty good. It's pretty healthy. Yeah. Four there, almost not uh, not killing. Yeah. Wow, he did not get punished. That's crazy. Here we go. Yeah, I like that. again put it out. Okay, he knew where, where to air dodge too. Saloon, though, still making a lot of extra credit. I mean, but he's got to start finding these stocks, these opportunities, and the parry in the walk. Yeah, he's so good at those parries, man. He knows a lot about the character because he literally plays the characters, so yeah, that yeah. definitely helps. Oh, yeah, it helps a lot. Even jumping back, knowing that you were going to start getting sharked and really be uncomfortable. But that dash attack from Saloon, what a response. Creating yeah. more damage and getting himself back in the game. 63 to 21, really nothing. Even finding the up throw into the up air. Yeah, it's pretty much even but let's be careful because Sora has Diamond and we all know how early Steve can get oh, those yeah. stocks, especially with Diamond forward smash and Diamond back air. Yeah, you got Diamond, but you know what Ivysaur has? Vine Whip, right? That's yeah. something that's been coming out. You see the Razor Leaves, they're starting to really hit Sora just a little bit. The damage is racked up. He just has to find the right setup so that he can find the Vine Whip or the upper. Mm -hmm. Or a bunch of down there for two frames right. if he ends up pulling it off stage. But yeah, the, the, that chip damage, that down to beating the, the minecart. Oh, I think that wasn't supposed to be a four smash. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Pressure. Saloon looking so clean. Charizard are coming out. Anything can kill from him. Yay! Oh, my. Yep, that definitely would have killed. 
really scary. Up throw that. Oh, Raid rash. Wow, he mashed out. Love, oh, wanted the F tilt, but that that dash attack so good across yeah. the Oh, that's the it. Disjoint. Yep. What a comeback, though. Yeah, that was a really good comeback. Really good adaptation from uh, from Silver. So we're gonna. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it's gonna come forward to, uh, during the the rest of the set. Yeah, it was. A, it was like that was only game one, and it was such an adaptive game one, right? Like I feel like Saloon opened up, so it was just like, yeah, man, I play Pokemon, and then was really just able to be like, okay, you play Pokemon. Let me show you why you shouldn't, right? So Saloon yeah. definitely bounced that back. Was doing an amazing job. Was adapting well, and I'd like to see even maybe a run back on that stage. He was. So so in the zone. He just needed a little, little hit there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, going back to small battlefield. So I don't think, I don't, like, I think it, that Saloom has something going on with, like, uh, he's understanding how to fight against Sor. But Sor was not shy to counter all of his adaptations. So we're going to see, this is really interesting, like, the interaction between the players and yeah. the, the way they adapt uh, to each other. That's one of the most uh, impressive things about Smash is how the other is going to respond to the other's uh, adaptation. Yeah. Oh, but right now, I mean, starting out the way it did game one, right? Yeah. The, the, the way that you kind of go in, and that comes down to the point of, like, every time Jesus, you have... Jesus, that's 102%. Dude, it's the way he followed it up to afterwards. It's yeah. been incredible. All right, I'm going to put myself on mute, but I'll, I'll give it to you. Show it yeah. up. All right. So, yeah, Sore having a really big lead right now, but... So, so Loom showed us last game that he can definitely come back here, so... That's... Okay, Invel, and that's it. No, no tech, unfortunately. Yup. It is what it is, right? Yeah. That does happen. And uh, now you're an entire stock down again. But this is not new to Saloom. I mean, this is this is exactly yeah. what happened the last yeah, game. Yeah, this is what he fought through last game. So it's definitely not uh, impossible to come back from for him. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, like... What's going to happen when Saloom is in the lead for once, right? Yeah. If it happens, I mean, the way Sora has been playing, it's it's very clean. It's patient. His, like, just response to everything. He was grinding last night. I saw him in those grind servers. So he, he came ready. He looks like he's playing Pokemon on the side, but this man's ready. Yeah, he definitely shows that he practiced for this event. He just oh, wants sure. to win out. For sure. He does not want it to go to waste. All right. Going back here into neutral. And finds the backer. That's going to be a KO. You got to evolve yourself into a uh, Venusaur if you want to live that one. Yeah. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Wow. Jesus. Up tilt up air. That's really interesting. You don't really see uh, Charizard use up air a lot. So, oh. up throw, up air. Just small damage. Oh, yep. Vine Whip. That's a really good Vine Whip there. Okay. Back in neutral, reset again. Even like again, like, I feel like with the comeback is on the verge, fifty percent making yeah. the damage. But as I say that, the commentator's curse hits once again because here goes down tilt. Get out of my face. Go. Feel it, feel it. Make the blocks. I love that. The soar right away. Get out of there. Yeah, patience from both players. It's really, really clean from both. Like they, they're really patient and they. It's just a, really a battle of like who can get the hit first and who's gonna take more advantage of it. Right now, Saloom not being able to get any anything go, get going right now. Sword just last trap for there. Saloom does and that's it. Wow, what a good call out on the switch here. So Sword up 2-0 right now over Saloom. Definitely a more convincing game for uh, from Sword's side of things, but Saloom can definitely. Gonna definitely adapt, but that that was a really good game from Sword. Going back on Spot Battlefield again. Yeah, here we go. It's uh, it, 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 you know, we thought we were having the adaptation. I really respected Saloon for going back to the stage, but like Sword just kind of was like, whatever. It's a new game. Yeah, it definitely definitely was more on Sword's favor that that second game. Yeah. Here we go. Starting out, I, I didn't see which stage here. I was uh, talking to... Uh, Small Battlefield yeah. again. No, okay, back. I, I'm curious as to why. Like, I want to know what the bans were because I, I said this last set where Rebecca made the reverse 3-0 on Small Battlefield and Hollow that those stages with Steve are just, like, his best. It's just he gets so much material so quickly. Yeah, maybe because, like, I know that, like, um, Pokemon Trainer can take advantage of platforms a lot, but so does Steve. And, it, and like Steve can create his own platform, so 
It's not it's not really gonna be a good deal. It's the way that he not only made his platforms, but he cancelled after the block mm -hmm. de like spawned. Oh and my just god. Continued again. Oh he's dead. He's totally dead. Oh, oh no, no never mind, he still has his jump. He's alive, but a lot of damage is done. You have no choice to get hit by that, but great spacing by Salumi's back in the game. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Yeah, that's death percent. I think anything from Charizard's uh, sweet spot tail is gonna kill, but as I say, a good up smash out of shield is gonna send Charizard away. And now we are going back to Ivysaur. Pressure with those Razor Leaves. Okay. Back to, yeah, you're right, the pressure. But I feel like I, I would love to see what would happen if Saloon started with Ivy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know the rule is like, yeah, Squirrel gets out, makes the damage, and goes, but it just hasn't gone well. We know that the Ivy is his best, so it's like, just get out there. Yeah, and especially in this matchup, Ivy is the best to deal with against uh, Steve's walls and. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because like the the forder back here are really good at dealing with the, with the box. Got um, it. So yeah, it's good. It's really interesting. Interesting. Okay, I always thought like the the, the leaves and such would not do anything against Steve. I mean, he's definitely having a hard time now. I feel like we've had the Ivysaur doing well every time, but not this time. It's uh, it's definitely getting quite a bit of hurt. Gotta yeah. Go back to the Pokemon Center soon at this rate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back throw not killing. Yeah, as you mentioned, like I think it's also a big part of Sword just adapting to this Ivysaur super well right now right. and just taking notes on how uh, Saloon interacts with him, with, especially because since he uses more Ivysaur than uh, the other two, it's easier for Sword to just uh, say, okay, well, I just need to look out what he does with Ivysaur and just, that's it. Dude, dude, dude! Oh dude, my god! There's no freaking way! There's just no way, bro. My man, get, Sword looked at you dead in the eyes and said, you're gonna drop shield yeah, he now. sat there knowing he was gonna drop his shield and then just a like, clean force oh smash just to take the stock. He said, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God, Jesus! I always forgot how strong Vine, so sweet Vine, Vine, Vine yeah, is. that's it. You know that that might have pissed off Saloon, and you know what? That might have been the anger he needs to really take this, because he this is it. Like he's playing very well right now, but how are you going to recover? Okay, dropping in. Yeah, I like that. Get up attack. Oh boy, oh boy, no cancel on the up smash. That was definitely the plan on Sword, but yeah. miss and dash puts. attack. Okay. 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 He doesn't have his jump. Oh my God. Up air. My whip's gonna do it. Uh, the oh yeah, for sure, at the for top. sure, for sure. Even another up here on that top last zone. I mean, oh, that, yeah. that rage on the side of Ivy is getting pretty big, and just even throwing that TNT. It's okay. really even. Again, Ivy doing so much work. Okay, I like Sore respecting. It's not his turn. Taking the control of center stage. Now it's, it's Salim's turn to take control of the stage. Chip damage with the Razor Leaves. Yep, all that counts. I mean, hey, you're back on. There's you only know? a point two difference uh, between the other two. Yep. I don't even know how that didn't hit. Okay, here's oh some fire. God. Super effective. Charizard switched to recover. Not getting there it and is. that's it. That's the up smash, and that's going to do it. Sword taking that set three to... 3-0. Yeah, it was really convincing too. I yeah. think the way that he's been playing, um, just just that last stock was the first time we saw Saloon like look really confident. Again, it was when the Ivy Store came out. He yeah. just looked so good. So guys, that was my last uh, set to commentate for. Now I will be back on that top four block, but I got Marissa coming on the mic with Bowser TNT. So I'm gonna let you guys keep it away. All right. Doing an excellent job. Please give them guys be nice, give great feedback and support. Thank you so much for watching. All right. So you will see Kels later down the line. She's gonna take a break, and now we're gonna have Marisa with me. Go check out their art. It's really fantastic. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm doing 